Hey, thank you all so much for tuning in today. So in this episode, I'm pretty much going over um, the ingredients that I use to make the turkey salad. So you can use this to eat with crackers. You can also make sandwiches with it, turkey salad sandwiches, turkey salad with the crackers. There's different things you can do or you can eat it by itself. So these are some of the um, options you can do with your turkey um, after Thanksgiving and you just want to, you know, extend it for lunch or dinner and you just don't want plain turkey. So what I have here is some Miracle Whip. You can use any mayo, but I'm going to use this one. Um, I'm using an off-brand mustard. Doesn't matter. You can use Hunt's or whatnot or whatever brand that's out there. I'm not really sure. But anyway, so mustard. I'm using just a little bit of sea salt, pepper, and paprika now my turkey i was already shredding it before i started recording this and so it already has celery bell pepper onions all that baked into it so that's the only reason why i'm adding it but you can add it for additional flavoring and crunch if that's something you desire to do all right so i'm gonna go ahead and finish shredding yeah, I got a piece of celery. I don't know. Let me see if I can shred this as well. You can shred. I'm using tongs and a fork. You can use a knife. Whatever you have. This is definitely a great way to enjoy that turkey that you took hours to cook. And, you know, just like I said, good, great options to use after Thanksgiving so this was an idea that my mom gave me so don't worry about it you can't get it all shredded up but that's good enough so I'm gonna go ahead and um, use some Miracle Whip I have a spoon here I'm gonna add a little bit at a time you never want to just pour too much a little bit at a time and that way you don't overdo it because you know overdoing mayo can be uh, anyway my favorite mayo is Duke's <laughs> but um I just wasn't really feeling it this time around so my husband he likes miracle whip so for you miracle whip lovers here you go and I'm just going to add a little bit more mayo. Just a little bit more. And let's see here. This Thanksgiving was very, very um, enjoyable. Um, we didn't get to go out of town with fam, you know, visit family just yet. Um, possibility that we may still do so. But anyway, so what did you guys do for Thanksgiving? How was your Thanksgiving, you know, this year? Okay, you guys, I think that's enough that I'm gonna add. You can make it a little bit more saucier. You know what? Why not? I'm just gonna add a little bit more mayo because I don't want it to be dry. I also don't want it to have too much mayo in there. You can do this with chicken. I mean, you have a lot of different options for those of us who eat chicken. I probably wouldn't try this with ham. I'm just saying. But hey, if that's something you want to give it a go, then definitely do it. But if you made chicken for Thanksgiving, you can definitely do this with chicken as well. And have chicken salad sandwich or chicken salad with crackers. I'm going to go ahead and add some mayo. Like I said, add a little bit at a time. And this right here, this is a good serving of at least four sandwiches. You can spread for at least four sandwiches with this. I mean, you're really good. And I'm gonna get through a taste test when I'm done. So I'm just using my tongue to hold the bowl down. I could use my hand to hold it too, because I really don't need the tongs. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that and hold it probably get a better stir in there. Mm -mm -mm. But yeah, 
yeah so y'all let me know in the comments below if you have tried this what you think we're gonna go ahead and add some paprika like i said these are optional you can actually add other ingredients spices or whatever you want but these are just the ones that i'm gonna use and then i'm adding some pepper this is off-brand pepper i'm not sure where i got this from but probably windy tea i'm not sure yet. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add a little sea salt. You can use whatever salt of your choice, whatever you have. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of that on there and finish stirring. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. And it smells so good. So y'all, that is the finished product. I'm gonna go ahead and try it out. of that. See if I need to add anything else. Mm. It is so, I mean the turkey is so soft, so smooth. OMG, no lie. I would love to enjoy this with crackers, some bread. I mean you can put toasted bread with it or non-toasted bread. This would be a great option not just for lunch, but for dinner and possibly for breakfast. I'm just saying, y'all got to try this recipe and let me know what you think. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. And until next time, stay tuned for more videos. And if you have not done so just yet, please subscribe to this channel. And thank you for all my returning subscribers. Thank y'all so much for your love and support. I appreciate y'all so much. And y'all have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.